I'll guide you through how to stream on Kick with Streamlabs OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. So we start off on the Kick page. Uh, first off, you need to log in or sign up to this page. Uh, it will be in the top right. After you're line, uh, signed, uh, signed in, you go to your avatar in the top right and you go into the creator dashboard. So right here, you can manage all your st stream information. Right here, you can view your viewers, followers, your time live, if you are live. And in the right, you can edit stream info. Right here, you can change your title, the title of your stream. You can add a category to your stream. Tags are not yet available. You can change the language that you are speaking in your Steam stream. And you can also enable your Steam to be only available to people who have 18 years or more. After you're done with all of this setting up, here you have your chat, your activity feed, the actions that your moderators are taking. The, the essential thing to starting up your stream on Streamlabs is to go into the settings on the left and find the stream key. When you open the, up this web page, you will copy both of these and open up Streamlabs. When you open up Streamlabs, you go to the left and in the press settings. Then you go and locate stream. When you get to stream, you need to select stream type. So if you're streaming on Kick, you need to select custom streaming server. After you se select this, you paste the URL here and the stream key here and you save your changes. Now that you have done all of that, you can start off by setting up your stream. So I recommend for you to log in in Streamlabs. You can use it without logging in, but if you log in, you will unlock much more options that you wouldn't have else. You will start off with only one scene created. To start off, you need to add some sources to your uh, stream, to your screen. So you press the plus button and it will open up this add source uh, thing. Here, you want to start off by adding a display capture, for example, if you want to let your viewers see your whole screen, you select it and you press add source. You can rename it, but I'll leave it as this and press source once more. Select which display you want to show because I have three monitors. It will ask me which one I want to select. Just press done. And as you can see, my screen is successfully added. Now, going into settings, you will see a lot of different options, and you go into your stream section right here. You select stream type, custom streaming server. You need this selected because this is the only way you can use Streamlabs OBS to stream on Kick. It isn't yet integrated as a platform. After you do that, you just paste your URL. Then you go and copy your stream key. You press copy and you paste it in the stream key section after you are done there you can just minimize the site and you press done now after we have done that we go back into settings and i'll show you some basic settings that you can use uh, when streaming so basically we have hotkeys in hotkeys you can fully set up uh, your stream to make it fully automatic and easier to handle Instead of you opening the Streamlabs OBS app every change you want to make, for every change you want to make, for example, uh, you want to start screaming, streaming by pressing F8, you, sell, you press that, you want to stop streaming by pressing F7, then going into video, you can select your base resolution right here, you can select your scaled resolution, I wouldn't uh, mess with the downscale filter. I would recommend not messing around with the video bitrate un un unless you know you know what you're doing. Another thing that you can mess around is uh, with is the microphone. You press this settings icon and you go into properties. Now here you can play around with your devices. For example, if you have multiple microphones connected, you can select the exact one that you want to use. Everything should now be set up. So what you can do is go and press on go live and your stream will then start on kick. And then what you can do is go back to the kick website and you can go and see how many viewers and if your stream's actually coming through. 